This question is from gate 2014, Mechanical Engineering Paper Set 4, Question No. 37. A wardrobe having mass 100 kg, height 4 meter, width 2 meter, depth 1 meter, symmetric about YY axis, stands on a rough level floor as shown in the figure. A force P is applied at mid height of the wardrobe as to tip it about Q without slipping. What are the minimum values of force in Newton and the static coefficient of friction mu between the floor and the wardrobe respectively? Let's see how this will be solved. Now, when the wardrobe rotates because of force P, we have to consider the tipping condition. So, just a point is in contact with the ground, that point is point Q. And the position of the wardrobe we have shown here. Forces acting on the wardrobe will be its weight. So weight will be vertically downward irrespective of the position. Let that be W. And there will be a friction force because this is without slipping. So at the point of contact, there will be a friction force acting opposite to the direction of motion. This friction force will be mu into N where N is the normal reaction. Normal reaction will also act at point Q itself. Let's first mark the reference axis. So let this be X axis and this be Y axis. So accordingly, we can take the equilibrium equations. First equilibrium equation that we'll take is moment about Q. As there is an overturning happening here, we can write summation of moment about Q should be zero. At this instant, we are taking the tipping position of wardrobe. So summation of moment about Q should be zero. All moments should balance. That means the moment caused by weight and the moment caused by force are the only two moments acting about point Q. We can write weight W into the distance of point Q from CG is one meter. So this is W into one minus W causing anticlockwise. You took it positive. P will cause a clockwise moment will take as negative. This distance has to be assumed to be very small and therefore we can take P into 4 by 2 that is 2 meter still. So P into 2 as this distance is very small we are still taking this to be half of 4 meter. So P into 2. This should be equal to 0. W will be therefore equal to 2P or P will be equal to W by 2. Because W is known P is unknown. So we write P is equal to W by 2. 100 kg is the mass of this wardrobe. So we can write weight is 100 into 9.81 divided by 2, which is 15 to 9.81 gives us 490.5 Newton. We have the value of horizontal force now. We have to find the coefficient of friction. So to relate these two, we'll take summation Fx equal to 0. That is sum of all horizontal forces should be 0. P is towards the right, we'll take it as positive. So capital P minus friction forces towards the left, we'll take it as negative. So it is minus mu n equal to zero. Mu will be therefore equal to P by n. We know P already from here, but we need to find n. Again, applying the vertical force equilibrium, that is summation Fy equal to zero. We have Upward is normal reaction and downward is W. So we have N minus W equal to 0. Clearly N is equal to W. So N is just 100 into 9.81 which is 98.1. So to calculate mu we substitute this here. We have mu equal to 490.5 divided by 9.81 into 100 which is 981. This is equal to 1 by 2. So we have our answer of mu as 0 0.5 or 1 by 2. Let's go back and mark the correct option. So we found out capital P is 490.5 and mu is 0 0.5. So the correct answer is in option A. Options are very confusing. Mark them carefully because option B is 981 which is just double of 490.5 and we have come across this value in the solution. So that might confuse you. Be careful while marking the option, option A. We have used the concept of friction here and overturning. 
So to learn about friction more, you can refer to the NPTEL video, Lecture 18, Friction 1, from the course Engineering Mechanics. This course is by Professor K. Ramesh. He is from IIT Madras. I hope this solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.